The Galen Calf baseball team has gone streaking. The Jays, winners of seven straight, heading into tonight's showdown with Sioux Central, scoring over 13 runs per game in that stretch. Tonight, Galen looking to extend the streak versus Sioux Central, who has also been tearing it up, winners of six straight. The Rebels have won four of the last five in this series. Jays up five in the third with the bases loaded. A grounder to the third baseman, Jacob Hargens, makes a great snag that applies the run, or the tag to the runner, and the Rebels get out of the jam. Next half inning, Galen's Connor Kraft on fire at the mound, striking out the side to keep the Rebels off the board. Then in the fifth, Jays with a runner on third, Keaton Logan to drive into right. That'll drop, and Hunter Klein scores from third to put Galen up six. Jays, they go on to get the shutout. Eight in a row, eight and oh. Over at East High, the Black Raiders baseball team hosting Lamars for game one of their doubleheader. Bottom five, East up 6 nothing. Easton Voigt singles into left. Aiden Hawkapp scores from third. It's a football score, 7 nothing. Bottom of the six we go. Cam Reamer on the bump for East and helping his cause. Chopper out to left scores Bennett Vanderloo. It's 8 nothing Raiders through six. Top seven with two outs, last chance for Lamars, and the Bulldogs answer. Donnie Daggett ropes one into left. Tegan Castle scores. Lamars kept it coming after five scored. The Bulldogs with the go ahead run at the dish, but Colby Thiessen gets the final punch out to avoid the comeback. Woo! He survives the scare. Eight to five, the game one win. Lamars keeps that momentum rolling in game two. They win five to three. Across town at West, the Wolverines hosting SBL for game one of their twin bill. Second inning for the Warriors, runner on third, Easton Wheeler knocks one through the infield. Carter Brown scores and SBL takes the lead. So we head to the bottom half, West with a man on second. Ryan Smith grounds one to first and the errant throw goes wide. Brady Larson coming on in to take advantage and just like that we're knotted up at one apiece. Another runner on second for West, Keenan Hegna into the outfield here. Drew Benson coming around to score and the Wolverines take the lead. They get the game one win but no reported score. To the softball ranks, Hinton hosting MOC Floyd Valley. Both pitchers rolling in this one. The Dutch, Carlin Smith, getting a ton of strikeouts through four innings to keep the Hawks off the board. But at the other side, Jaden Case, she was also dealing there, handing out chairs left and right. Zeros for both, both teams through four. In the fifth, the Dutch bursting through McKenna Cleveringa. Grounds out, but... She gets the RBI. Runner scores from third. The Dutch, they score first, but it's Hinton who laughs last. They get the win, 3-1. to one.